Another new addition to Samplitude 11 is the possibility to add loops to a project and have them automatically adapt to the project tempo. Let's investigate further. For this example, I have a groove loaded from Beatbox 2, which is also a new addition to Samplitude 11. Very jolly, I'll close that for now. Click on the Manager button and make sure you have the Files tab selected. I've pre-navigated to my Loops folder on my sample drive. There's a Play button for playing selected clips. Let's have a listen. Locking the padlock turns on Auto Play, so you can quickly audition the loops. Back to the Cabasa. Notice that the Cabasa stops after the first pass. Clicking on the Looped Preview button will ensure continuous play of all loops. Now let's listen to one of the loops in context. Oh dear, sounds like the conga players had a bit of a late night. But never mind, there's an instant hangover cure. Just turn on the button named BPM and everything will be nicely in sync and the conga player won't get the sack. So now we have BPM Sync turned on, I'm going to select track 2. Double clicking on the conga part will add it to the timeline at the cursor position. Grab the bottom right hand corner and drag the loop as far as you want. Experiment by adding a few more loops. You can then double click to add your loops to the timeline based on the cursor position. By mixing and matching different loops, it's easy to sketch out an idea. Anyway, I hope that's given you an insight into using BPM Loop Sync with Samplitude 11.